Hi, I'm Andrea Ricci. I'm here with Parisian Vibe and we're creating some evening looks for you guys. I had a really good time making these, so I hope you enjoy. I'm a singer-songwriter from Montreal, Canada, and I'm here in Paris for Paris Fashion Week. I have a little combination of vintage pieces, stuff that I've been cherishing for a really long time, um, some pieces from a brand I also work for in fashion. So I'm like combining fashion life with music life recently. Super happy about these pieces. I'm just excited to be here in Paris and showing you these beautiful looks. So this is the first look I selected. I'm a huge fan of corsets. I know they're a huge trend, but I love the historical reference to them. I think they're gonna be forever. Well, I hope so. I think I'll be wearing them forever. I love the way they really mold the body. This one was made to measure for me, so it like fits really beautifully. And I love to cinch it as, most, as much as I can to define the waist. Pair it with a pair of low-rise pants to have more of that masculine feel to contrast the feminine pieces. Pointy shoes, especially these, like I wear them almost every day. I'm not a sneaker girl at all. I don't really own a pair of sneakers. I love a kitten heel, I love boots. I feel like this is very me in the sense where I love pairing something super tight at the top and something very loose at the bottom and a pointy shoe, you can never go wrong. So I've just changed in my second look that I love very much. I've had a lot of good times in this dress um, in Montreal. Uh, recently I wore this for um, a party and it was really a fun night, so I have great memories in this dress. Uh, this necklace I stole from my mom's closet. It's vintage and I love it very much. And yeah, I feel like this is the perfect look to go dancing, have a beautiful night with your friends, have some wine, have some good food, and a lot of laughs, hopefully. Hope you like it. During this trip, I've been to three places that I really enjoyed. Belle Epoque was a really great spot. Delicious food and great wines. And then I went to Deviant, which had like these tapa style dishes and amazing cocktails. And right down the street, I think it's the same owner, Vivant, I think it's what it's called. Just a beautiful bar. There's no actual tables, like marble counters and these beautiful candles that they let the wax drip down the, the, the type of vase that it's on. I think I'm gonna do that for my own apartment when I get back home. Um, but yeah, those were delicious places to go to. This is my third look that I've picked out. Um, I really love it. I think it's a perfect balance of having something feminine and something a little more graphic and casual, mixing something that's very fancy and different textures. I think this is something that I'd wear maybe if I'm going to a very fancy restaurant, I don't know, a fancy party that I'm invited to. That would be nice. Yeah, and I have mixed this with some new and some old vintage earrings, vintage top, a new skirt and a new pair of shoes I just got. So this feels very nice. I feel confident in this and I can walk the streets of Paris feeling good about myself. I'm very much neutral. I don't explore colors too often. I do like uh, a bright accessory once in a while. I might adventure to that, but usually I'm either wearing creams, black, brown, and yeah, I could adventure maybe into a little red lipstick or a red nail polish or some form of colorful accessory, but not too often. I definitely have a lot of influences by different artists, for sure. I think especially when you're starting out, you start by copying the ones you love. My influence for writing-wise, Alex Turner was huge for me when I was a teenager. I loved listening to the Arctic Monkeys and they always had profound, great stories behind their songs and I really aspire to have something similar when I write my own songs. I love jazz, I love a bit of everything, I even like um, R&B, 
I love pop as well. I'm not ashamed to write a good pop song either. I love all sorts of music and I'm able to find inspiration in all types of different music. The next song is actually about my first time writing in Los Angeles. So I'm talking about PCH, which is the Pacific Coast Highway. And it's basically just about how I'm discovering a new town and how it makes me feel. I usually like to write about things that are happening during that moment to make them feel a little more authentic. Uh, my last song was written right before COVID when things were getting a bit weird. So I think that if you listen to my last release, you'll be able to hear about how I'm tired that every single day seems the same. And I think that was like very difficult for everyone to be in the same bubble all the time. I'm trying to stay positive, even though sometimes things could be a little dark. So yeah, trying to write about things that are true to what's happening in my life. Here's my fourth look, a little sexier outfit, I'd have to say. I'm wearing a black bodysuit with a sheer skirt. And in order to feel a little less exposed, I'm pairing it with this beautiful trench. I feel kind of protected by the coat, which I like. And I also feel like it has a bit of a French uh, twist to it, you know feels very sexy. And once you arrive to the party or the dinner, it's nice to show a little bit of skin. So I love dressing for fall, especially in Montreal. We have such a short amount of time where we can dress in fall looks. So I love the layering. Um, hopefully I'll be able to wear some really high boots with a bit of like transparency. Um, or this coat. last look, I'm in front of L'Avenue, uh, wearing a beautiful silk dress and an oversized blazer with strong shoulders and one of my favorite accessories which is just like a silk flower on my neck. And yo, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed all my looks. I love Paris and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Thank you.